Hello, I'm Anastasia. In this video, we will be doing dripping bloody nails. Coming up. I will use Luxio Delicate for background. Red color by Tertune number 67 for dark red. Gold color by NSI. Scarlet by NSI. This is classic red. Top coat by Tertiso. This is an Oakland's top coat. And thin natural brush number one. This design will work for any shape and any length, but for extremely short nails you need to create a shorter drips, so I think that it's better to have at least medium length. I apply Delicate by Luxio, I already buffed the nails. I have acrylic nails here, so it is better to buff them before applying gel polish. I never use any base coat. I applied first layer and then I apply the second layer. This is a semi-translucent color, but when you use two coats it looks better and I really enjoy this look when you apply matte top coat. This is like a cold semi-transparent pink color. I applied the second coat, cure it in LED for 30 seconds and then I am using matte top coat. When applying matte top coat, make sure you apply it all over the nail, do not leave any shiny spots, seal the sidewalls as well as the free edge. Cure in LED for 1 minute. Now let's prepare the colors. I'm applying few colors of red. Yes, those are different red colors, maybe cannot be seen on the camera, but they are. Also I add black, take drop of the red and black and mix them to create a dark red color. Then I will use another red and mix it with the darker red. So now we have few shades of red as well as dark reds to make these drips look more natural. After curing I need to remove the sticky layer from the matte top coat. Do not forget that you are not supposed to touch the skin with a sticky layer. Now let's do the design. Take a large drop on the tip of the brush and just leave it as the circle on the nail and then stretch a line out of it. Creating these drips is really fun because the key here is you need to take a really large drop on the tip of your brush. It will basically do everything for you. If you will take a small amount of the gel polish then it might not work. By the way, I'm using regular gel polishes, but you can also use gel paints or regular paints. Then I created another drip and I just wanted to make it a little wider. So previously on my channel I did Kylie inspired design and we created drips as well. But now our goal is to make not like cartoon or comic looking drips, but the actual natural drips and with the blood they're usually wider so that's why I'm adding more lines near the cuticle and also we want to create the look like the cuticles are actually cut and the blood is going from there so I'm outlining this line as close to the cuticle as possible then I connect these drips and create the wider part right here you see so it's okay if you have a white drop this is how the blood usually looks. Do not make them too thin. It will look more like a pop art style. Near the cuticle I am using Scarlet by NSI as this is the lightest color I have here. And I created the drops with Tortiso, the darkest red. This gives this look of realistic drips. Cure in LED for one minute and continue on the next nail. Remember, these drips, they are never perfectly symmetrical, perfectly straight. They always look a little bit different. Also, on one nail, you need to make them of a different length. One can be long, like all the way to the free edge. Another one can be extremely short. But the main rule here, the line should be straight. The drips should not look like somebody uh, turn on the blow dryer and all the drops went to the side. They should be strictly straight. And then I create the line near the cuticle and connect them like a bridge to one. Make it a little wider and then connect to the other one and continue working. So it should never look like a line 
with the drips out of it, they always should be connected because they are actually flowing from the top. Keep that in mind. And in this design, I recommend you to never create a very thin part because they will simply not look realistic. for one minute and then I will take red color and black, mix them together and add a little bit of the top coat. I'm using no cleanse top coat, the same I use for sealing nails. Then I add this drop and slightly stretch it with almost dry brush. And this is how I create this darker look on the drops and they will look like they're actual 3D. But do not add too much black yet. Our goal is to create a semi-translucent color here and it should be a see-through. So do not add too much black. Red, a little bit of top coat and a tiny amount of black. So I place this drop and stretch it. So when you place the black, you need to place it only on one side if the drop is pretty wide and stretch it and do not apply it all over the free edge of the drop, only on one side, like we are creating the shadow. Cure in LED for 30 seconds and then I will take more top coat, add a little more black to create a darker color. I will add this color to the tip of the drops and I am not going to stretch them as much. They will mostly be left there on the tip of the drop. And can you see already how natural they look now? So do not add too much black again. It still should be a little transparent, but you should definitely add more black at this point. So what we did, I was adding more and more black and this is how we created this look. Also, I used Scarlet by NSI near the cuticle, which is light red and the color is not as intense. That's why we have this look near the cuticle, like the color is semi-transparent, because I applied only one coat. Remember, when we were applying the drop, it was pretty large drop. So also we have more color there and we also created some shadow. So this is what makes these drips look like they are 3D. Do not stretch the black color all over the drip, only halfway, and when you are using the darker one, only on one third. Cure in LED for 30 seconds, and now we need to take the top coat and seal it. Remember, we already have a matte top coat on the background, and we want the nails to stay matte and the drips to be shiny. So you need to take a thin brush and carefully outline only the bloody parts. But here are the good news. We are working on the light color, so even if a small line will fall out of the drip, on the background it cannot be easily seen. If we would be doing the same thing on the black color, then it's just not allowed to make this mistake, but here we will not be in trouble. 
when adding the top coat now this drips are shiny and i think this really gives this the final look and they look like an actual blood but do not try to create the actual volume with a top coat because if you will apply too much and especially if it's a thin consistency top coat it may simply flow outside the border and also it may wrinkle in the lamp so be careful top coats are not designed to make an actual 3d and we're not going to achieve it this way only through playing with the colors and the shadows cure in led for one minute and this is the final look this design is definitely trending this halloween so i really wanted to try it too let me guys know what do you think would you do this bloody nail art for the halloween Thank you so much for watching, if this is your first time on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials every week. See you in the next one, bye bye!